financial crises are bad for the labor market. Uh, the stylized fact we found in this paper with Professor Scalvo and Coricelli is that when there is a financial crisis, unemployment not only does not recover its pre-crisis level when the economy uh, recovers its production level, its pre-crisis production level, but if the recession is financial, the recovery in unemployment is even worse than in typical uh, recession episodes. That is the first stylized fact that we found. The second is that the impact on the labor market depends on the level of on inflation. Uh, on low inflation context, and these are typical uh, advanced economies or some emerging economies, uh, the impact is on unemployment. In high inflation context, unemployment tends to recover its pre-crisis level, so unemployment goes down, but what does not recover its pre-crisis level are real wages. Uh, so. Uh, there is an impact on financial crisis, but also inflation determines whether the recovery is jobless in the first case or wageless, we could say, in the second case. So uh, the policy implication, the first policy implication is that uh, an inflationary spike might, under certain reasonable levels, an inflationary spike might help reduce unemployment. Uh, so if policymakers are worried by unemployment, that might help. But uh, as a consequence, you obtain really uh, lower wages. You, wages, real wages, decrease a lot with respect to their pre-crisis level. So the second and most important policy implication is that the only thing that can help both unemployment and real wages at the same time is relaxing uh, credit constraints that are the ones that are, according to our study, uh, behind uh, these labor market consequences of financial crisis.